beauty babes and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here hi i'm melissa today i have 20 pieces from abercrombie and fitch's fall drop that i think any of these pieces would make a great addition to your fall capsule wardrobe so let's get into it First thing I want to talk about in this video, I was so excited when I saw that Abercrombie dropped a trench coat. I love trench coats. They are the absolute perfect transition coat next to a denim jacket. They're light, they're stylish, and they are classic. This is something that is going to stay in your wardrobe. Ward Why am I having such a hard time saying wardrobe? Stay in your wardrobe for years to come. Um, my first trench coat I've had for the last 10 years and I've since added to the collection recently within the last two years, I've added two leather, faux leather um, trench coaches, a tan one and a beautiful red one I just got this year and I'm so excited to wear. And then most recently, the last time I was in Brooklyn, I went to the Dumbo street fair or street market. I don't want the, um, I don't, I don't I don't know what the locals call it, but you know what I'm talking about. And I found a vintage Dior trench coat. I am so excited. And the color is what really made me gravitate towards it. Um, and Abercrombie has a very similar color right now. So I picked up that one instead of showing you guys that classic tan beige color. I wanted to show you this beautiful like muted pale ocean navy blue it is absolutely so stunning and a nice just like subtle hint of color to a classic wardrobe um the thing that i love about trench coaches coats too is you can dress them up or down if you have a sweatsuit underneath with some ugg boots this would look really cute over if you're doing a skirt and a top really cute over jeans and a basic t-shirt it is just a great go-to um seasonal change jacket and this will last you up until the end of fall going into the winter months you're probably going to want to put it away and get a heavier coat but then once winter starts to slow down again and spring is starting to come back up for air you're going to reach for this again so it's it's really a multi-seasonal jacket Okay, the next item I have for you guys, they are calling the Notch Neck Sweater. If there is one thing Abercrombie does right, it is sweaters and their sweater material. And they never cease to amaze me every year when I pick up their sweaters. They're always heavy knitted and great quality knit, but so soft. I haven't tried on a single sweater to date since I started shopping at Abercrombie again that has made me itch or I've been uncomfortable in. They just really emphasize the cozy feel to a sweater and I absolutely love that. When you're investing in your capsule wardrobe, these are things you want to look for. You want to make sure that your sweaters are a great quality knit because you want them to last you until next season and the season after so that you don't have to keep repurchasing sweaters and that is something that I am always, always just like shocked at how good Abercrombie hits the nail on the head with their sweaters and their stitching and just the overall feel like some sweaters even if the stitching and quality is still really good it can still be very scratchy but Abercrombie sweaters are never ever scratchy and I went for this notch neck sweater just because collars are really in this season um, so it's a fun way to kind of keep your sweater classic and just um, a very simple silhouette but add a little little sprinkle of trend to it if you will um so i really like this sweater this will be staying in my wardrobe for this fall and the other thing that i also love that adds that sprinkle of being trendy and staying on trend is the cuffed sleeves um cuffing is also really in season we see it in jeans and we're seeing it now on sleeves in sweaters and jackets and things like that so the collar and the cuff to the sweater really are hitting the classic silhouette on top of 2023 fall trends okay these next two items when i tell you i ordered them because i thought it might be something my viewers would like and definitely something i didn't think i would fall in love with i was shook the way these next two items have me in a chokehold like God himself must have designed these or they have some sort of secret magic sauce they are working with over at Abercrombie because I was not expecting to love these as much as I love these. 
These next two items are squirts. Now, the first one I want to talk about is this navy blue one. They're both kind of a spin off of corporate wear, menswear, if you will. Um, I hate that we call it menswear because it's pretty much just like corporate office wear, right? So the first one is this navy blue one. Now, this is my favorite of the two. It does have this really beautiful belt right here, but the way it just didn't make me feel curvy. Like, and I mean that in a great way. Like my midsection is always my most sensitive section. And the way that this squirt just sat on my curves and made it look like I was flat in the places that I may not so much be flat. I don't, I'm like trying to describe the way it made me feel without negative self-talk but it was just like I I sent a picture to Ryan immediately it was like we need to go on a date because I need to wear this skirt immediately or I need to go to a girl's dinner because I I'm obsessed so there is no ands ifs or buts this is staying in my closet the second one is this tan one right here I also love this one um, but this one sat a little closer to the skin and I felt like you could see the bodysuit underneath it it could just also be the color um, I feel like you get away with a lot more with a darker color but I loved this cream shade and I thought it was so beautiful and so flattering and I am not going to keep both in my wardrobe I am just going to stick to keeping to the navy just because I don't need to but I think both are super flattering and so stunning and I mean it's a mini I'm never comfortable wearing mini skirts but you can't even tell that there's shorts underneath either of these these both have built-in shorts so I absolutely love it I would totally feel comfortable going out in these so uh 10 10 on both of them I recommend honestly both of them get them all get them all just get them all Sticking on trends for 2023, a capsule wardrobe really want to keep simple and classic silhouettes. However, from time to time, we can take a simple and classic silhouette and add a trend to it, just like this next item, which is their cargo sweatpants. Another thing that I absolutely love from Abercrombie is their athleisure wear, especially their sweatpants. Um, full disclosure, I don't have a ton of their like actual workout stuff but their athleisure lounging I do they are so soft they stay soft after multiple washes and I you guys know I'm a sucker for this color I absolutely adore this sage green so I had to pick these up um, really this entire 20 piece collection is mostly blacks browns and tans with a sprinkle of navy and this sage green also love how having the pockets on the side keeps this not only trendy but also just kind of elevates your airing look um, makes you look like you tried a little harder and so I really love that I like to be comfortable when I'm out running errands but I also like to look like I put in some effort into what I am wearing so next we have the 90s relaxed high rise in black if you watch my video from last year um, I did a fall Abercrombie try on haul and a spring try on haul and I was really trying to figure out am I more of a curve girl or am I a regular I have since come to find out that I think the regular fit just fits me better than the curve look does um, so all the jeans in this collection are just the traditional um, jean sizing but if you know you prefer the Curve Love, I will link them down below because all of these jeans are also available in the Curve Love. So this is just a simple black wash. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm not going to lie. These jeans, however, are having some competition with the old navy wide leg jeans. I absolutely love the fit. Um, you guys can't see right now, but I'll do a long shot so you can see. I have on the 90s relaxed jeans that I showed you guys in the last, I believe it was the fall video, with the ripple on the thigh. These are my go-to. I absolutely love and adore these. I feel comfortable. I feel trendy. Um, and I feel just like I can move and they're not too tight. And I just, I love Abercrombie jeans. So another thing we're seeing a lot of in fall and winter for 2023 is not only just satin materials within itself for skirts and tops and slip dresses, but we're seeing a lot of cow neck and drapery going on. Abercrombie dropped this cow neck halter top in this beautiful satin material. Um, 
It's a very simple classic silhouette and this is something that will be great for date nights, going out for dinner with, to grab drinks with the girls. Um, you might even be able to get away with wearing it to work if you keep a blazer on over it. Um, it is just a simple beautiful silhouette and I thought it would be so cute especially for date nights. Okay, next I have come to realize that I have only gotten the 90s relaxed jeans in this haul. Like I said, I'm wearing them right now as I film this video. They are my absolute favorite. Um, but I saw that they have this gorgeous, stunning chocolate brown. And I absolutely love all shades of brown, tans, caramels, things like that. So I knew for me, I think the one thing that I want to talk about for a capsule wardrobe is I want you to look into your closet and look what your color themes are if you are the same as me and you love those browns tans caramels i think it's probably in the benefit for you to invest in this shade of um jean i just think it's so scrumptious and i'm literally looking at my closet right now and i have so many things that i can pair with these jeans so I knew I had to have them in my collection and of course I already knew they were going to fit amazing because they are my favorite cut from Abercrombie. Don't be so surprised but we've got another 90 straight jean. Um, the difference with these is they are following that cuffing trend so the bottom of these jeans do have a overlapping cuff right here. I personally growing up always cuffed my jeans because I am short and that's what I did um, and my mom and grandma would always yell at me and they were like let me have a hem your jeans and I never did. I'm, I've am i always cuffed them. So I love that this trend is here. It's kind of nostalgic for me um, and I absolutely love these because I can dress them up with heels and a really cute top and go out for drinks with the girls and just feel like I've done more than just put on jeans and a top if that makes sense. If you follow me on TikTok, you know that I have ranted and raved about the Rue tank from Anine Bank. It comes at a hefty price point for a tank, but tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, those very just basic classic silhouettes are the utmost importance in your capsule wardrobe. So things like that I really urge people to invest in and find pieces where they love the quality, they know that the fabric sits beautifully on them themselves and their curves um, and just that the silhouette can be used in multiple ways. Like I said earlier, I love to layer tank tops underneath my jackets and blazers. I tend to get really hot. I'm hot natured and so instead of layering with a long sleeve shirt or a short sleeve, I go towards tanks. But like I mentioned the Rude Tank from Anine Bang. Um, if you don't follow me on TikTok, you should. I will link my TikTok down below. However, I think I have found a dupe for that Anine Bang tank top and this comes at a much lower price point than the Anine Bang one. Also, the quality of this fabric, it's again that buttery, soft, smooth fabric that we love. It is a good thickness where it's going to sit beautifully on you and your curves and I just couldn't resist this rust color because I, every season, Without a doubt, come fall, I have to buy at least one or two rust colored pieces. It just makes me feel in that fall spirit. Um, and I just love this boat neck silhouette here. I think boat necks, regardless of your chest size, regardless of your size in general, I think boat necks are the most flattering cut, neck cut on a woman. Boat neck is kind of like, just think of the bottom of the boat. It is so stunning and so elegant and just makes you look so much more put together than like a scoop neck would. I just, oh, I can't, I can't explain to you how happy a boat neck makes me. So I saw this and I knew I had to have it. And I have another item in here that is a bodysuit. This is not a bodysuit. It is a true um, original tank top. The next item that caught my eye, now I am going to shock you because this isn't the 90s relax cut. This is the ultra, ultra high wide pants. Um, it is the same cut that their trousers are. And again, going back to that pleating and drapery trend that I said that we were seeing in a lot of tops and slip dresses, we are now seeing it in pants. Obviously the pants aren't draped, but they have this really stunning pleating at the top detail. Um, and I thought these were really nice like denim mix on trousers as well. I really thought I was going to love these. I love the pleating detail. However, on my particular body type, I just thought maybe they were a little too wide for me and not doing a whole lot for my body, so I do think I am going to be returning these. Okay, this next item, I wouldn't necessarily consider a capsule wardrobe 
item piece it is more of a trend and that is the denim midi or maxi skirt now i'm not gonna lie i'm absolutely in love with this skirt i thought it was so cute um but it is the crisscross waistline and i find that the crisscross waistline can be a little tight now i did order these in a 31 i have been going through a lot of weight fluctuation um i gained a lot of weight and then i lost 10 pounds so i'm in between sizes and kind of all over the place the 31 however as you see it fits it buttons it is still super snug and i'm trying to decide if i want to keep these um, and let my body grow into them as i continue to lose weight or if I should just return other than that I absolutely love this one this one isn't really a midi on me it's more of a maxi it kind of hit right at the ankles but I kind of loved that I don't know I'm, a, I'm obsessed with this one I just I really really liked it sticking on trend with that maxi midi skirt I have this leather midi skirt I also love this I showed Ryan and I was like will you rate this and like he was just like in awe he loved it so much so this will be staying you know me i love anything leather and by leather i mean faux leather of course but i love anything leather it i just always loved that material ever since i was younger um call it my rebellious side if you will but i just love it and i feel so badass in leather um so when i saw that they had a faux leather midi skirt on their website i had to include it in this try on haul i love this um i do need to iron out the wrinkles a little um i probably won't use an iron on this i'll probably just steam it out but other than that i think this skirt is absolutely perfection and super comfortable as well and this one's a 31 and it didn't feel too snug at all whatsoever so that's why trying on these things is pretty good um, i do know that the crisscross usually tends to be tighter on me um, we saw it with the last try on video so if you are going to order that last crisscross denim skirt maybe size up one okay wrapping up this video actually we have two more items this and another one this is just a simple bodysuit authentic bodysuit um it is a thong so you're not going to get any panty lines it is that really soft buttery material very similar to that ross colored tank top except this is the bodysuit form um and again having that really flattering boat neck neckline um it's giving the rue tank by Anine bing i am obsessed um this one will be staying in my closet because i do have the rue tank in black and white but i never trust myself in white clothes um i think because it is such a high price point the Anine bing tank i have done a really good job of not getting anything on it but i am the type of person who always has tied stick in my car in my purse and in my office so this will be my backup just in case anything should happen um i absolutely love it again the material super buttery super soft and it just sits so beautifully wrapping up this video with an accessory item i did order this belt in black as well but it is running late it'll be here tomorrow um i absolutely love this stunning brown color um and the gold detailing is also beautiful i've already taken off the tags because i know this is staying in my wardrobe it is a really good um thick belt that is definitely going to last you through multiple seasons and i also haven't seen a belt in this shade of like chestnut brown before so i'm really happy and excited to have it in my collection but the black belt that i ordered looks exactly the same as this but in black so i will link that down below for you guys okay beauties well that is it for the fall abercrombie and fitch try on haul i hope you guys found some things you loved i apologize in advance if anything is sold out i will do my best to link it all down below and if something is sold out i will try to link something similar for you guys they are very popular at this time of year so things tend to sell out a lot faster than um normal times of the year um however i did look while i was filming this video and the cargo sweatpants are sold out i'm pretty bummed about it i'll still try to link them down below if the website will allow me to just in case they do come back in stock but this is probably one of my most favorite things of this haul and i'm really bummed really really bummed that they're sold out but again i am going to do my best to get this up as soon as possible so that nothing else sells out and that you guys can shop and again as always i appreciate you guys shopping my links it makes me be able to do this more often and it's just 
encouraging in the sense that I know you guys are truly getting value out of my content. So let me know what other shops you think would be beneficial for you. Put them down below and I will be sure to do some try on videos for you guys from those stores or even if there's anything else you guys want to see just let me know. I love creating content for you guys but I love it even more when I know that you guys are loving it. So I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and comment on a heart down below. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I'm still, I'm getting better at these YouTube closings, you know? Okay. Bye.